Okay guys, just a very quick video on the Pico Neo Free Link uh, update. It's now got the Pico controllers in Steam VR. Um, you might find like me, obviously some games um, just straight up don't work with the Pico controller models. Um, thankfully, obviously the INI file is still adjustable to bring it back to the Oculus or Vive ones. Obviously it's, it's imperfect with obviously the positioning and the gyro, but it will launch your games. So Saints and Sinners, you need to change this to Oculus. Um, but most games, to be honest, that I've tested um, boot just fine, but there is still some underlying issues. So I'm going to use um, Red Matter as an example here just to show one issue that I've got um, specifically with this game. So without changing the driver file to go back to Oculus Survive 1, so I'm just leaving this as Pico. Um, what's happening is the right thumbstick isn't reacting as it should, um, but everything else on the controllers is absolutely fine. So all the grips work. Um, there's no capacitive touches on the on the thumbsticks, which I believe has caused an issue. And if I look at this game here, it's showing like a Vive. I think this is still treating as Vive controllers, which uh, will make sense in a second. So I'll jump into the game here. And what I've got with this game, when I click left and right, um, it's not actually action in the quick turn on the thumbstick. So what I have to do is hold it in direction and click in the thumbstick to action it, which is um, a bit Vive-ish, um, but it's not, not what you want on an actual joystick. So, thankfully, it's a very easy fix to this. I don't believe you need to do the left controller because I've not played this in a while. I think that just stops it accidentally um, pressing to change things when you just normally do this. But the right thumbstick in this game definitely needs um, addressing. So, what I'm going to do is just bring up the Steam VR overlay. Um, it's shown the now playing screen here, which is perfect because obviously that's my game that I'm playing. Um, basically, you're looking for controller bindings. It is in settings and controllers. You can get to the same thing. Um, but I'm just going to do controller bindings here. And the active controller is Pico. If you change your driver file, um, the any file to any value other, other than sort of the default, it will show obviously your Oculus or Vive, depending on what you've changed to. Um, the game up here is what is adjusting to Red Matter, because this is obviously done per profile. You can do it pretty much for all Steam VR, but you don't need to do it on all Steam VR games. So what I'm going to do is active controller binding, just change this to custom. And depending on if Steam VR likes me today, um, when you click edit this binding, it should bring up a binding window. It might take a second or two to come up normally. Um, if it doesn't come up, if this doesn't come up, um, you might need to restart Steam VR. I've had that a few times um, when you're messing about with it. It's just a, a bug within Steam VR at the minute. So now I've got the controllers here. Um, I can use, obviously, overriding the um, default value so I'm not changing anything really to do with the triggers or buttons so just looking for the joystick so on the right controller right joystick um, you can use the obviously joystick up and down to scroll in this menu um, what I'm looking for is click is actioning as a trackpad thumb stick press and then touch is actioning as a trackpad thumb stick touch so in essence all I'm going to do to easily fix this game is click the pen here to adjust these uh, these values and the click, I'm going to change to basically the touch. So I'm going to swap these values around. Um, just make sure you obviously choose the right controller. So left is at the top of the menu. You might need to scroll down. So it's currently on press. I'm going to change this to touch. And I'm going to change touch to press. Okay, now that's done, I need to click this tick. So that should now be saved. And all I'm going to do is, for the demonstration purposes, obviously you can save personal bindings here. I'm just going to close Steam VR overlay just to test it and I want to click the stick it's going in the right direction and also obviously um, when you go forward in this game what was happening before you, you couldn't adjust your speed on the fly um, you'd have to obviously press in your stick to action it which is obviously a bit awkward whereas this is acting exactly as it should um, there's no more having to click in the click in the button to, to get it to action so when I click it's obviously just doing this now it's not actually um, action in anything so yeah this is a very simple fix for this game um and a few others uh, again the left stick in this one i don't it may need changing but i think this is how it's supposed to action just to stop you accidentally um changing your tools here but again it's a very simple fix um hopefully it's obviously down to devs later on to implement the pico controllers natively into steam vr um but yeah it's, I, I think this is just where it's um going through compatibility and it's maybe still treating the actual inputs as a, a Vive or Oculus, which obviously we've got a brand new controller model here with Pico um, and there's no capacitive button. So again, I don't think it was sensing that and uh, yeah, nice simple fix and that's all you really need to do. Um, 
again, there's going to be some games that obviously don't launch. Um, if I go back to my library, Saints and Sinners, it's not going to work. So you will need to change the driver file, but I, I wouldn't recommend changing the driver file for Wii games. Just um, test on a game by game basis. I've got a list going. I'll link in the video description. Um, but it's just, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory once you've done this once or twice. Um, and again, because it's a controller binding, you can actually just save per profile and you won't actually need to do this again. So I hope that helps and uh, thanks for watching.